Today, we learned a little bit about the feature of night and day. We're going to be creating art that shows a little bit about what we've learned together. We're going to start by drawing a nice house in the middle of our page. If you've never drawn a house before, it's really not too awful hard. We can start with a square. That's a pretty good square for a house. Most houses have roofs and most roofs are kind of pointy, just like which three-sided shape? If you answer triangle, ding, 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 you are correct. Let's put a nice triangle on top of our square to give our house a nice roof. What sort of shape do you think we should use for a door? If you said square, well, you're pretty close. If you said rectangle, ding, ding, ding. Most doors are shaped like rectangles. To add a doorknob, all we have to use is a little circle, boop, to one side of our door. Now, this house is looking all right, but I think it could look even better with more details. So I'm going to let you add in details that you think are going to look good in your house. You can do the kinds of details that I'm doing, or you can make up ones of your very own. I think my house will look better with some windows. And maybe a chimney. I could use the top part of a rectangle for a chimney. Hmm, what are some other details that I think would help my house look nice? Think, think, think. Ooh, I have an idea. What about some curtains? For curtains, I can use a curved line and a slanty line. A curved line and a slanty line. Yeah, that looks like some decent little curtains. Curved line and slanty line, curved line and slanty line. All right. Once we have our beautiful house, we need to create an area for our house to sit upon. Because right now, our house is floating as if by magic in the center of our page. And well, that just doesn't quite look very realistic. So we're going to be drawing a hill behind our house. Let me show you how. I'm going to start on one side of my paper and draw a line that curves up. Whenever I get to the side of my house, I'm going to lift up my pencil. I'll put my pencil back down on the other side of my house and continue my curve until it goes all the way off the side of the page. Once we have our beautiful little house and our beautiful little hill, we're going to take our beautiful little drawing and we're going to fold it in half. If you can't fold things in half perfectly, do not worry, but do do your best. And if you need help, let me know. Once we fold it together, we're gonna unfold it and use our pencil to trace over that fold line. It's gonna end up slicing our house in half. We're gonna need some labels in this drawing. You can put your labels up high in the sky or down low on the ground, whichever you prefer. One side of our beautiful landscape, we're gonna label it night. The other side of our beautiful landscape, we're gonna label that side day. Now, we've talked all about the different types of things that we see in the daytime and at nighttime. Your job for the rest of this class is to use your big old brain to think about details that you can add in to help one side look like nighttime and the other side look like daytime. Let me know when you get done because I would love to put your artwork into Artsonia.